let's get started working on adding multiple fractions with unlike denominators. Evaluate and simplify your answer. 2 thirds plus 3 sixths plus 3 fourths is equal to what? Now, when we add fractions, we need our denominators to all be the same. A reminder, your denominators are the bottom of your fraction, where the top of your fraction is called your numerator. We need the denominators to be the same because the denominator represents how many pieces are part of a whole. And we need the pieces to be the same size so that it makes sense when we add them together. So the number that we have in common between 3, 6, and 4 is 12. So we're going to convert these fractions to twelfths. In order to turn two-thirds into something with twelfths, we have to figure out 3 times what gives us 12. Well, 3 times 4 will give us 12. So do the same thing with the numerator. 2 times 4 will give us 8. 6 times 2 will give us 12. So we also multiply 3 times 2 to give us 6. 4 times 3 will give us 12. So we do 3 times 3 to give us 9. Now that we've created our equivalent fractions and all of our denominators are the same, the next step is to add our numerators. So we're going to add 8 plus 6 plus 9. 8 plus 6 will equal 14 plus another 9 will give us 23. So we're going to end up with 23 twelfths. Now, if it's just an evaluate, we might be done. But because we need to simplify our answer, we need to continue on. We have 23 twelfths. First, we need to change this improper fraction, and it's improper because the numerator is larger than the denominator, to a mixed number. So we're going to have a whole plus a fractional part. 23 over 12, we're going to have 12 over 12 representing a whole plus 11 more twelfths. Now you may be wondering how I got that 11. Well, I take the numerator that I had and I subtract what one whole is, like right here. Subtract a 12 from it and that gave me my 11. So I have 12 over 12, which is the same thing as one whole, plus 11 twelfths. That's the first step in simplifying. The second step in simplifying would be to check this fraction part and think, do we need to simplify that fraction? For example, if it was 10 twelfths instead of 11 twelfths, then that could be simplified into 5 6 by dividing both the top and bottom by 2. But 11 twelfths is as simplified as it's going to get. So our final answer is 1 and 11 twelfths. two-fourths plus two-thirds plus three-sixths. Four, three, and six can all go into 12 evenly. Four times three is 12, so two times three will give us six. Three times four is 12, and two times four is eight. Six times two is 12, and three times two is six. Now we'll add our denominators. Six and eight is 14. And 14 plus 6 is 20, so we'll have 20 over 12. To simplify, we need to create our mixed number. 20 can be broken up into 12 plus 8 more. So our 12 over 12 is 1. Then we check, can 8 twelfths be simplified further? It can. We can divide both the top and bottom by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So our final answer will be 1 and 2 thirds. Two fourths plus 3 sixths plus 1 half. 4, 6, and 2 can all have 12 in common. 2 fourths will change into 6 twelfths. 3 sixths will also turn into 6 twelfths. 
and one half will also turn into six twelfths. Six plus six plus six is equal to 18. So we have 18 twelfths. 18 can be broken up into 12 over 12 plus another six, because 12 plus six is equal to 18. Our 12 over 12 is our whole of one, plus we have six twelfths. Both six and 12 can be divided by six. So we're gonna end up with one and one half. Three fourths plus one sixth plus two fifths. Four, six, and five, the least multiple that we can, all of those can go into evenly is 60. Four times 15 is 60, and three times 15 is 45. Six times 10 is 60, one times 10 is 10. Five times 12 is 60, and two times 12 is 24. So we need to find the sum of 45, 10, and 24. In the ones place, we have five plus four is nine. Four plus one is five, plus another two is seven. So we have 79, sixtieths. To simplify, we need to convert that to a mixed number. So we'll have 60 over 60 plus another 19 over 60. 60 over 60 will turn into 1 and 19 is a prime number. We can't divide it by anything but 1 in itself. So 19 sixtieths is simplified. So we have 1 and 19 sixtieths. 3 fourths plus 2 fifths plus 2 thirds. 4, 5, and 3 all have 60 in common. 4 times 15 is 60 and 3 times 15 is 45. 5 times 12 and then 2 times 12 will be 24. 3 times 20 is 60, and then 2 times 20 will give us 40. So we need to find the sum of 45, 24, and 40. 5 and 4 is 9. 4 and 2 is 6, plus another 4 is 10. So we have 109. We have 109 sixtieths. To simplify that mixed number, we are going to have 60 over 60 plus 49 over 60. 60 over 60 is 1, so we have 1 and 49 sixtieths. 49 and 60 do not have anything in common, so that's our final answer. two-fifths plus three-sixths plus two-thirds. Five, six, and three can all be changed to thirtieths. Five times six is thirty. Two times six is twelve. Six times five is thirty, and three times five is fifteen. Three times ten is thirty, and two times ten will give us twenty. So we're trying to find the sum of 12, 15, and 20. Two and five is seven, and then one plus one is two, plus another two is four. So we end up with 47 thirtieths. That can be broken into a total of 30 over 30 plus 17 over 30. 30 over 30 will give us 1, so we have 1 and 17 thirtieths. 17 is prime, so that's as simplified as it's going to get. 3 fifths plus 1 fourth plus 3 sixths. 5, 4, and 6 all have 60 in common. 
5 times 12 is 60, and 3 times 12 is 36. 1 fourth will turn into 15 sixtieths, and 3 sixths will turn into 30 sixtieths. We're going to find the sum of 36, 15, and 30. 6 and 5 is 11, so we'll carry the 1. And we end up with 81. So we'll have 81 sixtieths, which will turn into 60 sixtieths plus 21 sixtieths. 60 over 60 will turn into a whole. 21 and 60 can both be divided by 3. So that will give us 7 twentieths. So we'll have 1 and 7 twentieths. 1 fourth plus 1 sixth plus 3 fifths. 4, 6, and 5 will have 60 in common. 1 fourth is 15 sixtieths. 1 sixth is 10 sixtieths. And three-fifths will be 36 sixtieths. 15 and 10 and 36, we need to find their sum of numerators. 5 and 6 is 11, carry the 1. We end up with 61. So we have 61 sixtieths. That's only one extra over our whole. So it'll be 60 sixtieths plus 1 sixtieth. So we'll have one whole and 1 sixtieth. Three fourths plus three sixths plus two thirds. Four, six, and three all have 12 in common. So these are all gonna change into twelfths. So 3 fourths is 9 twelfths, 3 sixths is 6 twelfths, and 2 thirds are 8 twelfths. 9 plus 6 is 15, and if we add on another 8, we're going to get 23 twelfths. 23 twelfths is the same thing as 12 twelfths plus 11 more twelfths. 12 over 12 is a whole, so we have 1 and 11 twelfths. 2 thirds plus 2 fourths plus 2 fifths. 3, 4, and 5 can all have a common denominator of 60. 2 thirds will be 40 sixtieths, 2 fourths will be 30 sixtieths, and 2 fifths will be 30, I'm sorry, not 30, 24 sixtieths. So we're going to have 40 plus 30 plus 24 which will give us a total of 94. So we'll have 94 sixtieths. That will change into 60 sixtieths plus another 34 sixtieths. 60 sixtieths will turn into one. 34 sixtieths, those are both even numbers, so we can divide them both by 2. 34 of, divided by 2 is 17, and 60 divided by 2 is 30. So our final answer is going to be 1 and 17 thirtieths.